Hello, sports fans. I'm Ralph Luck. Welcome to RVing with Luck. Well, today, as I uh, mentioned in my other video, is Doctor Day. So I already woke up early. Ninja panicked. Thought we were uh, hitting the road so she wouldn't hit under the driver's seat in the RV where she goes whenever we travel. But I went to my doctor. Um, my blood work, I had looked at the results last night, looked pretty decent. Um, uh, definitely cutting back a lot on beer is going to help and being a little bit more active is going to help. Scary thing is the doctor heard an abnormal heartbeat while she was listening through a stethoscope. They came in with an EKG and found I have a fib, which is, uh, I'll insert that here because I don't want to mispronounce it. I did a million EKGs of my life and uh, right now I'm just blanking out. I have so much going on. Um, anyway, with no symptoms, like no recent onset of shortness of breath, chest pain, things like that, they send you for an immediate uh, consult to a cardiologist. So I've got an appointment in less than an hour. That's how important it is. If I came in and said, yeah, I'm having chest pain for the last day, and they saw that, they'd call 911, send an ambulance to me, and bring me to the emergency room. Because of the fact that that means your upper part of your heart's quivering and uh, not flowing the blood properly. So it's definitely a serious thing and I'm gonna uh, walk you through it. So right now I'm relaxing back in the RV. Poor Ninja was meowing to go out, but you can't. And, uh, and we're not leaving yet. So I did get two new prescriptions that one's like for a blood thinner and the other one's the, uh, I was on it before when there was concern of high cholesterol and stuff, which I no longer have. But both of those deal with the heart and the blood. And I'm getting those filled in the next uh, two hours at the local Walmart right near the cardiologist. So I'll keep you posted. So went to the cardiologist, top rated one in the Phoenix area. And they said, we don't take your insurance and so we don't take cash pay. So I got sent back to my doctor to give me one in network and see how they could get that done. But I'm at the Walmart now getting my one normal prescription refilled, thanks to go to the doctor. And then two more that are new ones. So we'll see. My plan is stay tonight. If they refer me to a new cardiologist that it could get me in by tomorrow, I'll do that. Otherwise, I think I'm gonna hit the road and come back for that cardiologist referral in a couple of months, like February or March. So I got my medications. The two new ones, one's the one I've been taking as normal and a new one that's the blood thinner. Hopefully that any clots that are in my heart will thin out before going to my brain and causing me to stroke. <laughs> but I kept singing the Bob Marley song. Everything's gonna be all right. Don't worry about a thing. So came home, Ninja sleeping in her bed and uh we're staying another night the downside is the doc only wrote me a 30-day prescription for the two new ones in other words i'm supposed to go to that cardiologist so the cardiologist can extend those prescriptions or my doctor will have to see the cardiologist so kind of throws a wrench in the works we'll see what happens i hope they call today or tomorrow because i'm leaving tomorrow by noon either you know if i haven't heard from them stupid thing i know but i gotta be free so the second referral was also not covered by my insurance. So I called my insurance, found a cardiologist that is covered, that is in the area. And after failed attempts to reach my doctor's office, because they have this big answering service that is a nightmare. And I decided to just drive to my doctor's office. I gave them the information. They handed me a referral. They submitted the referral to that cardiologist and away I went. Well, I got there and thankfully they're gonna get me in in two days, which surprisingly is a Saturday, which is fine. 
I'll plan on leaving right after that, unless the cardiologist orders blood work, a stress test, and other things that may be delayed a couple of days. I'm gonna take it one step at a time, go to the cardiologist in two days, see what happens, and hopefully hit the road after that. But I gotta tell you, going to my doctors today, I'm gonna show you the kind of luck I had. Everybody's lucky, I'm especially lucky but it's not always good luck. And you know that too, everybody has bad luck. So let me show you a couple of things that happened that really tested my uh, philosophy of being positive because uh, it, it, it was a, a difficult couple of things. So in my haste at the doctor's office when I arrived, I jumped out and my seatbelt was sticking out right there when I came back, the metal portion. So I tried the door handle, it wouldn't open. Came around to the other side. Oh yeah, it won't open. Oh, but it's gonna rain, so I had to put the window up. And you can see I've got water jugs full. My old army bag with stuff in it, stuff on the passenger floor, and I had two bags of trash all the way to the roof. I had to unload all that, crawl around, get in the driver's side. I put the top down, the windows down, and came around this side and crawled in to the driver's seat. I drove it over to a local mechanic. He, after five minutes, managed, just by luck, to open the door using the inside lock only. It's been continuing to work using the inside handle to unlock it. That outside one won't work, but I knew that was problems because one day when my remote battery didn't work, I tried using the key here and it would not unlock that. So I knew there was problems with the door then. Oh, sounds of freedom going over. US Air Force fighter jet training. Anyway, what a day. And this is what happens when you put your shoulder into the door to try to pry it open. Yeah. So I'm at Whataburger. Sounds like water burger, but it's actually what a burger. Tell you what kind of luck I'm having today, because I always have good or bad. I waited in line for 10 minutes, got up, started to order, realized my wallet was in my car because I had taken it out to be able to jump inside the car. My check engine light came back on. I checked the tape around that hose, put more tape around it, drove it around, nothing's changed. The passenger window would not come up. Now this has been an issue since I bought this seven months ago that only by using the driver's side feature of the all windows up could I put this up, but it wouldn't come up. But just now, I managed to get it that far up. Let's see if I can do anything else. Well, what do you know? Good luck. I pounded on the window from the inside and out, went to the driver's side, and the window came up. Let's just say it's not going to be going down until I get it looked at, or until I look at it. Oh my gosh. And it's supposed to rain tonight around midnight. So at least the window's up, the rain won't get in, and I've got my appointment for the cardiologist in two days. So we'll have to see what happens. It's on a Saturday, so I'm thrilled that I didn't have to wait till Monday. Hopefully I can go to that appointment, get seen, and head to, towards Texas on Saturday. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel. And if you're not already subscribed, please, we'd love to have you as part of the community. And that way you get alerts anytime I post a new video, which currently is every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. Go out there, be positive, no matter what kind of bad luck you have. Be nice, be active.